Huawei App Gallery are offering some amazing savings inside Infinity Kingdom. Up to 35% cash back, 20% every time you make a purchase, and an extra 15 if you become a VIP. All the details are in the description below guys, as well as the links. Why pay full price for your packs when you can save an absolute fortune with Huawei App Gallery? Right now though, let's get into the video. What's going on guys, it's your boy Worthy Prince coming at you with another Infinity Kingdom video and today guys we're going to be taking a look at a new event that dropped onto the server of Infinity Kingdom. Let's take a look, it's right here, <laughs> the Call of the Wild. Now, this is pretty cool, this whole event and you can see all the different tabs down the left hand side are all based around monster hunting. Uh, which I really enjoy doing, so hunting the gnomes, hitting the bosses. Let's take a look at each tab and see what's going on. So first of all, there is a daily login event, so you just literally have to log in and press the button, and you're going to claim each of these prizes each day, including mass numbers of resources, gems, shields, and those philosopher's stones for your summoning. So pretty good stuff on the first tab. Second one is Tribal Warrior. This one here is a troop training stroke well, today is troop training, troop training and also fortifications. And we need to do this today, so not only can we gain these awesome prizes, these chests are amazing, 100,000. I mean, I always go for the gold, personally, 20,000 gold, which is actually really good, really good way to get gold. And then these ones down here for building your traps, which I haven't really done, which I need to do, I actually can get some building speed ups, so I'm really interested in that. And then you go to day two, day three, day four, day five, each day there's going to be new things to do and more things to open. And along the way you're going to have these chests. And the big one at the end, the gold one, I mean they all offer these arrows, look. You can actually pick up arrows inside and you're probably looking at this thinking what are those arrows? <laughs> We're going to get to that right now. You see here is the main feature of this event, the legendary hunter. And you can see there is our target, that cross-eyed deer <laughs> or stag even on, on the board. And you can see you get these arrows. Now the blue arrows and you get orange arrows. And it says deal 10 damage of a blue arrow, 50 with the orange. Arrows have 30% chance to, double, to deal double damage. Wow, so you might even do double damage when you hit. And what is the reason for doing this? Well, of course, guys, it's because of the right-hand side. You can see there's a bunch of prizes to open up in, the, in this scroll down here, including a permanent festival name tag, which is really, pretty cool stuff. Further down, you can see there's even, as we go right down to the bottom, wow, there's loads here, wow. Go right down to the bottom, there's a new emoji. That looks pretty cool, I want it. And also a new castle skin, oh my god, a new castle skin, guys. The ancient tribe to put onto our castle. Wow. Okay, so loads of really cool stuff, including AP, philosopher stones, gems, resources, I mean, it's all in there. Pretty good stuff. So we want these arrows, that's what we want. Okay. Primitive Battle, this basically tells you that during the event you're going to be claiming these feathers and these logs through hitting monsters, okay, as well as purple crystals and EXP for your heroes, but if you hit any monsters over level 8, you're going to be able to rally um, rebels using trial credentials to unlock even more rewards, so that's really good too, really, really good. Hunting Festival Adventure just basically tells you that by hunting the gnomes and hunting the gnome bosses on the map, you're going to get crafting materials for your arrows, all right? Forging Master, this is where you come to build your arrows. So you can see just by using the logs and the feathers, you can make the purple ones. If you want to, though, you can use your feathers and 100 gems a pop to make a gold arrow, which I think we'll do in this video just to test it out, um, and that's going to do more damage. So this is where you make your arrows. And then Prosperous Tribe just tells you some of the really cool features that are available inside of this event, including a nice banner, which looks really cool, uh, the permanent castle skin, and also the nameplate. If we click here, actually, where is it? I think it's here. There we go. You can see this skin, and that looks amazing. And at night time, it looks even better. So I definitely want this. So we're going to have to try and hunt a bunch of monsters over the next few days to get it. <laughs> okay, so where are we going to start off? We're going to start off by doing some troop training because that's part of the event. I'm going to train some bowmen. I don't know how much I can train, but I'm going to try. I've got a bit of resources out, so we'll see how many we can do. I'm doing 4,000 at a time, and I've got speed ups. So let's go ahead and do it. Boom. One. And we go again. And we do one quick speed. Two. And we do two gems. That'll be fine. There we go. Two. 
I'm just going to do a little bit of training. I don't know how much I can do, but just enough to use my speed ups up, guys. That's what we're, that's what we're going for. That's 12,000 I just trained. I think 50,000 is kind of where it's at, if you can do 50,000. I don't know. We're going to keep going. Train. And again, we're training those troopers, guys. We're training those bowmen. These are the ones that always die. Like You always lose these ones in battle the most. So we're going to go and check the event in a second and see where we're at. Let's click on this and boom. All right, cool. So let's go check the event out and see where we're at with this. Okay, so we've got the first one, 5,000 troops. We get a purple arrow. Second one for 10,000. Third one for 20,000. And the one for 30,000. Nice. We just need to get to 50,000 to unlock the last arrow. I don't know if I'm going to have enough speed ups to be able to get there. We're going to keep trying though. Let me check out my troop numbers quickly. Uh, we're now to 102,000 bowmen. That's nice. I'm going to do some spearmen and some shieldmen now. The quicker way to do this is to go in here. Uh, shieldmen, spearmen, and cavalry. We'll do all of them. Speed up. Oh, he's going he's gonna to be out of gems, I think. Oh, nearly. Out of speed ups, almost, I think, is what the problem's going to be here. But let's keep going. Boom, boom, boom. I'm almost there, I think. If I could do one more run, I think we're going to be Gucci. I think I need to open up some food, though. Let me get some food. A million food would be fine. Train, train, train. Nice. And here comes the speed ups. Do we have enough? Speed up. And speed up. And speed up. We do. Lovely. Complete, complete, complete. Nice. So, bunches of troops now. My castle definitely isn't low on troops. Almost at maximum, like, holding. Look. Literally. <laughs> I'm boarding almost my maximum troops. 334 out of 340. So, yeah. Troops looking nice. Let's go and check out the event. I think I've done enough. Tribal Warrior. I trained 57,000. So, claim once again. Great. So, we've got a bunch of arrows. And i got a bunch of the resource chests as well. Great, let's move into the next one, which is going to be doing the fortifications. Let's go down, train a million troops as well. Look, I got myself some more prizes. Nice. I don't know if I've got any trap speed ups at all. It's going to be interesting to see. Let's have a look. So we're going to train these. Now, do I have the trappy speed ups? I do have some. Oh, I've got a few actually. Wow, we might actually be able to get this done with the speed ups. Okay, so that's 24,000. Let's do some logs. And these are really cheap on resources to make as well, but mine are only level 2. I haven't gone too crazy on the defense tree, really, to build these up yet. But we're going to build these all up and see if we can unlock the next bunch of arrows. Let's go. And it's pretty easy to do, guys. This one is, anyway. The troop training one, you might struggle on a little bit if you haven't got the speed ups or the resources. Um, but again, there are packs in the store. You can gather as well. Gather. You can gather for a day if you need to, just to really make sure you get enough resources in to be able to do those, do, do those events. Um, or you can grab packs from the store and do it. But don't forget, Huawei are offering some really cool discounts. If you want to reduce the cost of your packs to get you through this event, then check out the links in the description for the Huawei App Store, getting a good amount of cash back back on your purchases while I'm just doing this. Let's get it done. Okay, so we're at 260. I don't know if I'm going to be there yet, but we're going to go ahead and keep going. Okay. All right, let me just quickly check and see where we're at. We've done quite a few. Okay, Travel Warrior. We're going to go Claim. Claim. We're going to hit that first chest as well. Claim, claim, and claim. Done. Great. Look at this. We've got the first chest opened. We click it, and we get some more arrows, including a couple of those fiery-looking arrows. Awesome stuff. So this Tribal Warrior event is complete. Completely complete for day one. Nice. And that's awesome. Okay, moving down. We've got Legendary Hunter. We need to... We've got loads of arrows. We're going to fire the arrows off a little bit later in the video. We need to go ahead and hunt some monsters now. That's going to be the next thing to do. So, with that being said, let's get to the main map. Woohoo! I love it when I get a new event. It's always good times. Okay, there's a level 4 maggot right next to me. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm, am I ready for that. I am. Do, do we dare take on the level 4 maggot? <laughs> I'm not even in war talents right now, but I'm thinking about having a crack at it. Okay, we're going to go with our biggest march. I'll use this as well. Let's go. I mean, surely killing the boss is going to give us more rewards than killing gnomes, right? Okay, here we go. Troops going. How much damage do I do to a level 4 maggot? Oh! I actually almost killed it. 3,500 losses, though. Wow, that really hurt. Okay, <laughs> let's do it again. Wow, that really, really hurt. But it shouldn't be as, nowhere near as bad this time around. Damn. You don't <laughs> three thousand losses. That's one. That's a really big hit. How many does? How many goes in the infirm for that? Eight thousand troops. Woof. And that should be dead now. Boom. There we go. Let's go and check out what we got for killing the level four monster. 
Um, so, did we get any materials? I didn't get any materials on the first hit. I didn't get any materials on the second hit. Okay, well, that's interesting. That's interesting. What's this? Some wood. You? What's that? But you have you have participated, defeat known bosses, and obtained the following wall. Oh, okay. So I got one unyielding wood. Okay, so it did give me one. Okay, well that's good. That's good. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and hit another one. Level six is too high. Um, let's summon a couple of gnomes. Just to see if they drop anything. Uh, so let's go down a few levels. It said level eight and above. So let's just go for a level like 12 gnome. They're pretty easy to find. Search. Right there. Attack. And we're going to use... Actually, use this one. For extra attack or extra EXP for my immortals. Let's go in and attack them. Hopefully we're going to get some uh, some drops, right? I want some credentials as well so I can hunt the... Uh, Rally the rebels. Let's have a look and see what we get. Again, oh, there we go. Look, look, look. They're dropping here. It comes up in the uh, system. So if you're looking in the battle report for this, these items, they don't go there. They go in the system. We did get another stick. Okay. And from the actual gnome, I just got some gear and some crystals. But it comes up in a system message when you actually get something. Okay, let's do another one. Let's try a different monster. Let's try a backen. Uh, Twelve search. And attack. Look, got loads of AP, so I should be fine for this. Let's go, let's go. Can we speed it up? Speed it up, baby, let's go. Let's hit this one. Press help as well. Let's see what we get. Boom. Again, we get no we get another system message saying we got another log. And I got some gear. Okay. Alright, so it seems like I'm getting logs from the monsters. Let's try one more. Let's try a higher level one, shall we? Let's try a rogue. Let's try them at around about level 15. Level 15 rogue. Let's see what they're saying. And we're going to do again. Extra EXP for my immortals. I'm going to go ahead and heal. Because that really hurt. <laughs> uh, what's this? 10 minutes? Um, okay, we'll just use gems for 22 seconds. That's fine. Boom. And here it goes. Level 15 now I'm about to go down. Nice. We got another stick and gear. Okay, I'm not getting... Oh, there we go. Rebel tracks. Okay, great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably teleport over to my guild okay. so I can actually do that. Okay, guys. So I got a couple of people join my rally, which is great. If we go to Alliance and click on War, you can see I have three of the five in my rally right now, which is awesome. I can click View Rally. I got Lord Tristan that's joined. I got Nokinura. Both have got pretty good marches, um, so I think we should be good to launch this along with my march. We should be good. Let's go ahead and depart it. Sixty-seven thousand troops. We're going to depart, and we're marching right now. Hopefully, it's enough to take out a level two. It'd be quite embarrassing if it wasn't. <laughs> it should be enough. It should be enough. And there we go. We had some losses, a few losses, but nothing too major. Let's have a look at the actual report, though. And there it is. We get two feathers and two logs. So this is where you're going to get the materials from, hitting these um, rebel camps. And you get that by hitting the monsters. So there you go, guys. This is the best. That's the best way to get them by the looks of it. All right. Awesome stuff. Now, what we're going to do now is quickly jump back to the event page. I'm going to continue to hunt monsters and continue to rally stuff so I can keep getting more and more arrows. But let's use what we've got so far and see how far we can get. We can go to the Forging Master and I can go ahead and build some arrows. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to craft one of these. And I've only got a few gems left because I had to use gems to relocate just then. But we're going to get one purple arrow. And I am going to, of course, build another one of these arrows up here for 100 gems. The, the gold arrows. Awesome. So let's go back up to the actual uh, Legendary Hunter event. We've got three of the orange arrows and 24 of the blue ones. Let's hit it and see how far down we get. Obviously, level 40 is where the emo is. And I'll unlock the right-hand side a little bit later. But let's go ahead and fire off these arrows. Oh, you got to tap it to shoot it. Boing. Minus 10. <laughs> I want to get myself 30% extra, like, extra double damage. That would be nice. There you go. Minus 20. So we got double damage on that one. Boom. Minus 10. So we kill it. Oh, it's a squirrel now. It's a squirrel. Oh, the, the, it goes up. 70. So look, we got to level 1. I'm going to use a 50 damage one here. Here we go. Boom. Nice. Let's go again. And another another blue arrow. So, okay. So, basically, each animal is a level. 
Okay. You have to defeat the animal to defeat the level. So to get all the way down to the bottom, it's going to be 40 animals in total to complete it. And they do go up in HP per level. So, hmm, interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and keep going. Let's see how far we can get. 20, got double damage on that one. Another double damage. Great. I wouldn't use the orange arrows until like it's 100 HP or more. Because if you do double damage and you've only got like 40 HP up there, it's going to be a complete waste. So save your orange arrows until you get to animals that have more than 100 HP. There it is. Level 3. 100,000 wood. See, now I'm going to use an orange arrow. Here we go. Give me 100, H 100 damage would be lovely right now. Oh, we got 50. Okay. <laughs> I do still have another orange arrow though. So we'll save that for the next animal. 40 left. Nice. Double damage. 10. And the sheep is gone. Good stuff. 100 gems. And we're at level 5. As a wolf. Let's go ahead and use our last orange one. Okay, we've done 50 damage. Nice. We should have enough to actually finish off this one. Yeah, and then we're going to need to go and do some more hunting to continue. But, considering we only just done the day one events of troop training and fortifications and literally hunted like two monsters, we got down to like level level five, level five, 6 of this, which is pretty good going, to be honest. So, as you can see, a couple of monsters hunted, day one of the event uh, on the troop training and fortifications, and we're already at level 5. We need to continue to hunt monsters and continue to do the daily events that, that they ask to get all the way down. So I'm going to keep working on that. I've already got people in my guild that are down to level 10 with a new nameplate. And it looks really, really cool. I'm going to see if I can show you quickly what it looks like in the chat. You can see that someone was asking if I could jump on a call quickly to talk. Look at this, look. That's what the nameplate looks like. It makes your name go orange in the chat. Love it. Really, really cool. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the new monster event. I think it's really, really cool. I'm going to be going back in there now to go and hunt some more monsters so I can get myself down that list. Um, but I hope you wish you the best of luck on your adventure too. Get, get unlocking all your stuff. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll catch you in the next video. But until then, you know how this next bit goes. Stay safe, everyone. And of course, peace out.